<laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hang on, let me just turn on the camera there. I completely forgot to do that. I am. Um, we've got an image. There we go, okay. <clears throat> Hello, welcome back. I hope you're all having a good day. <laughs> um, yep. <laughs> uh, the prompt today is Sprout. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> stitch together um how are you doing <laughs> good and you um i'm doing quite well thank you <laughs> Hi Coziard, how are you doing? I'm doing, uh, well, I'm doing well, how are you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um. Um, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's, that's really good, um, uh, I was thinking today we'd take a little bit of a break from all the evil plotting we were doing the past couple of days <laughs> with this prompt, because, uh, I don't know, you just, sometimes you have a little, uh, a little break from evil stuff is also good. <laughs> And it works well with a prompt being a sprout, so... Uh, I believe at some point when we were doing the prompt for Raven, we decided that because uh, the cats are using them as taxis, that the ravens get paid in walnuts, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Wasn't that something we were... we had decided? <laughs> Oh, not the hiccups again. Uh, I'm pretty sure that, uh, what is the prompt today? Sprout. Uh, so Sprout is kind of like... Um... <laughs> uh, like a plant that's just starting to grow. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's a sprout. Hang on. Focus. No? Oh, wait, focus. This is a sprout. That's kind of like those plants that are just starting to grow out of the seeds. Right now, I've got to focus back onto the paper. Good, good. Okay. <laughs> um, and I believe that when we did the prompt with the raven, where we had created the raven taxis in a way, we, I think the idea was at some point that they should be paid in walnuts. How does this fit in the story, long? I don't know. I, I, I feel like this is not going to be part of the whole plot that we've created, so 
probably just some world building <laughs> for the school. Probably a, a little subplot <laughs> randomly in there. Um, <laughs> I mean, sure, like, technically it doesn't fit into the main plot of Theo being unhappy being a vampire cat, but <sighs> we gotta take break from evil stuff at some point as well. So, um, I like the, la the shape of these leaves. They're cute. They are very cute. <laughs> so the leaves are kind of a bit pointy there. I mean, like with the um, first prompt where we did just a class, this could be like a planting class, kind of, I guess. <laughs> a class where they plant trees, in a way. Maybe. Mm. Uh, a good question what we're gonna do with this. Although it does, I mean, Sprout, mm. I'm gonna see if Sprout has different meanings. Yeah, no, it's just a plant that's starting to grow, kind of. So we're going to stick with uh, the world building aspect for this prompt. Because <laughs> world building is important as well. We've got most of the plot kind of covered. At least the evil stuff. Um which was Theo being unhappy being a vampire cat and therefore going back in time to stop his own birth from happening, as one does. So... <laughs> How am I going to draw this? <laughs> uh... When it's kind of like they have the one that's still kind of poking out, it's just lying on the ground, kind of like that. And the plant kind of grows out of there. Whee! Would be fun trying to get. Uh, I'm glad I've got the colours at least. I mean, I've got a green, I've got a brown, and then... Well, I could also try making it black and white, but where is the fun in that? <laughs> So then you've got the, the leaves kind of, but 
are sort of like that. The way I'm looking at it, they're kind of pointy. <laughs> I'm gonna have tiny leaves here, and then another big one, kind of. Okay. And I think we're gonna have a third one here, kind of. Like that. I have a feel this is gonna be very quick. <laughs> it's of a drawing, really. Which is a nice change because yesterday was very complicated. Uh, with the loop. But I'm very uh, looking forward really uh, to tomorrow because the prompt is fuzzy. <laughs> Which calls for something positive in a story that's. Largely negative. Mm. I mean, Fuzzy just calls for something very cute and fluffy. This is probably not the most accurate drawing of a walnut sprout, but <laughs> I'm just doing my best. Okay, let's... Tiny leaves here. Um, I mean, I think when we were like talking about the walnuts that I used to pay the ravens, um, I think they said they are magical walnuts that <laughs> sort of just taste like what you want, what like your favorite food. I think that was it, the idea we had. I mean, it's a really nice idea, I think. Um, another 
difference I also saw that like the leaves have a little bit of brown in them, or at least yellow, kind of yellowish brown a bit. I think I'll try and get that in there. Oops. Perhaps I should also put like a little tiny sign here to say uh, what kind of tree that is going to be. Um, I have looked it up. Ravens actually don't eat meat and walnuts. They kind of tend to eat meat more. But then again, this is a different world we're talking about. <laughs> Rules like that can be ignored. Maybe the walnuts do taste like uh, the favourite fruit of ravens. I mean, it's all possible. When you're talking about new worlds and books and all that.
or you know they could just use the one that's for magical spells in class or potions or something that could be fun and the ink is not thing up today how fun Let me clean the cluster pen and then Oof. doesn't want to continue with that. Mm. You know what, let's draw another sprout like behind it, kind of. Wait, I should sketch it out first. Yeah, let's throw a few more sprouts behind it. We don't want a lonely walnut sprout. We don't want it to be lonely. <laughs> Give it some friends. Like a little, little walnut fan, perhaps. So it grow out here, kind of. And you've got leaves. Maybe this one just as these, kind of like that. And then we'll have another one here. Baby sprout, maybe too. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> like um, maybe sort of here, and then you've got walnut kind of, and then you've got a baby, baby, baby plant, like just like that. Little baby sprout. <laughs> and then we'll have another big one over here behind it. Having a little a little walnut farm. <laughs> I 
and just like have it two leaves sort of like that yeah it's nice <laughs> Cute little, little walnut farm. Oh, there's a bubble there. Pop. <laughs> That's got green ink on my hand. <laughs> and then we've got a little, little tiny, little sprout yeah. Wee. tiny little thing and then this one Wait. like that and then this one They look like little miniature palm trees. <laughs> Tiny little baby trees. <laughs> All we need now is an evil twist for them to exist in the story. <laughs> And just ruin everything. I mean, the cats do need some sort of reason to grow <laughs> walnuts. Uh... But we could still kind of use them as payment. <laughs> like, instead of coins, they just page of in walnuts as I don't know. The money involved. Baby sprout. No, come on. Hello, how are you doing? Are you doing well?
we just uh, drawing a bunch of walnut sprouts for a walnut farm, I guess. <laughs> I'm doing good. What are you drawing today? Uh, yeah, what it said. <laughs> We're drawing a walnut farm. Um, I do vaguely remember that we said that the taxi ravens would be paid with walnuts. And I think something about magical walnuts as well. I'm not. I can't really remember that that well, but I definitely know we talked about them being paid with walnuts, because. Why not, lol? <laughs> I'm always one step ahead of you. <laughs> always one step ahead. <laughs> so we're taking a bit of a break from the evil, evil plots and going over to, well, not going over, but basically. Doing a little bit of well being. Yes, you remember that. But okay. <laughs> Great. I just thought that this would be a nice opportunity to, you know, dial the evilness down a little bit again. For a little bit, as, at least. And, um, the plan for today really fit for for just taking a break from the evilness. Tomorrow's prompt will be very nice as well because it's fuzzy! And that's exciting. I, I love fuzzy things. Fuzzy things are cute and adorable and... Ah! And the ink doesn't want to work with me. That's nice. Yep, that's pretty much what's going on now. <laughs> Just doing a little bit of world building, putting the evil plot stuff aside, and just chilling out a bit. <laughs> I mean, you can't go evil all the time and just hurt all the characters. We, we need a little break with something nice and wholesome. Or walnutty. I love walnuts. Very yummy. Sprouts <laughs> are so cute. I know, I know. Especially like this baby one. The baby one. The baby sprout must be protected. <laughs> Tomorrow and today are going to be cutesy little things, just to take a little break. And all the, the sadness that we've been doing, the heavy cursed Lot. 
Which, you know, it's it's fun to do evil plotting and basically come up with a very cursed story, but... <laughs> It's, it's it's a nice change to just lean back a little, leave it alone for a bit, do something else a bit. I mean, world building is important too. Ah, sticky, sticky ink, sticky ink cut onto the handle of the plastic pen. Lovely, lovely jolly. Um. <clears throat> Uh, never gonna have clean hands <laughs> in, in in these streams. We're always gonna ha get some ink on the. I mean, we've got the big sprout and then the tiny ones and then the baby one. This is the mum of the sprouts. <laughs> of the sprout family. The big sister. Brother. There we go. <laughs> now we just need a background. Oh, the water's gone dark. It was so nice and green earlier. Oh. But technically, I should also fill this little triangle white. <laughs> There we go. I think I'm just gonna have the background be kind of just blue. Because <laughs> we want, because really we want the focus to be on the, the sprout family. How cute the sprouts. <laughs> Before I go do that, I'm gonna um, go to the bathroom real quick. I will be back in a bit. Alright, back. <clears throat> back. Oh.
I think with this guy it's probably best if we kind of delete the ink a bit and go in with a brush because I don't want this guy to be like really dark. <laughs> the only blue I have is dark. <laughs> Fun times. <laughs> Welcome back, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Technically, the paper doesn't really like water, but uh, it'll be fine. And if you have a drawing, so fine with water too. It was just very wobbly in the end, the paper. As long as I don't layer it on top too much, it'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah, that looks a lot lighter than the other sky you know. That area. Mm. Okay. <laughs>
Ich habe ja noch also Sky. <lacht> Now the fun part begins. Waiting for it all to dry. I think I'm just I'm just gonna leave the space down here kind of just blank so I can sign it later. how the cats are kind of pay the ravens and walnuts even though ravens don't technically eat walnuts they prefer meat uh, as far as I've you know looked it up I looked it up I've, uh, Google says they, they eat meat <laughs> But uh, I guess the cats ignored that for, uh, of the world. They just ignored that ravens don't eat walnuts and <laughs> ate them with walnuts anyway. Maybe the ravens have some other use for walnuts. I'm not sure what to use, but something probably. <laughs> the economics in this world is weird. <laughs> I like this drawing, <laughs> really do. Probably makes one of my uh, favourite Inktober drawings so far. <laughs> Mine's super cute and <laughs> There's not much going on under like that. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for fuzzy tomorrow. It's just gonna. Uh... I don't. Know. There's a lot of cute, funny, fuzzy stuff <laughs> out there. But fuzzy in general, I like fuzzy. Fuzzy is cute. And I probably wrecked the paper a bit. <laughs> but, yep. <laughs> Maybe I can add some birds in the background kind of flying <laughs> there. Just to add a bit of something to the but for that, the paper has to dry. Do -do 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 -do.
Okay, come on. <laughs> Waiting for something to dry is not <laughs> it's a bit mm. <sighs> Come on. How's everyone's week going so far? Was busy at all? <laughs> oh, really? Did you, uh, did you have a lot to do? Kind of busy too, I guess. <laughs> um, ow. Sorry, I just bumped my head against the camera. <laughs> Oops. Oh, they look so nice. Thank you. I feel like putting some birds in the background, but the paper kind of needs to dry for that. <laughs> I've still got quite a few character sheets to finish up uh, for the, the story that we've created. I think we still don't have a title for it. Busy, busy week for the wife of the sun. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, I'm also going to have to put the plot kind of in a timeline, kind of. Because right now the uh, stuff I've written down for the plot is kind of all over the place. It's like not in a linear timeline kind of thing. Not that with the time travelling there's going to be anything linear timeline, but... <laughs> you know, story-wise, it, it should be somewhere in order. In an order. And I definitely need to do that. So that's still a lot of writing for me to do. Huh, and the sun's back out. <laughs> you know, earlier it was raining like crazy, and now the sun's just shining. I think the weather doesn't like me. Like when I don't stream, it rains, and when I stream, it, it the sun's shining. <laughs> hey, okay, maybe if I'm lucky, I can go outside afterwards. <laughs> A bit so I can take some autumn pictures to use as inspiration for paintings, maybe for watercolor paintings. Are you dry? Yeah. <sighs> maybe for tomorrow we can have like a fuzzy baby Theo. <laughs> 
I have a vampire cut as a baby. And freaky. And cute. <laughs> That could be nice. I think after after that one, it kind of gets darker again a bit. Oh no, it doesn't open. <laughs> huh. I feel like the next couple of prompts are just kind of easygoing ones, where it's not going to be heavy plot stuff, which is nice, <laughs> I suppose. I mean, the story is already very cursed the way we've written it. <laughs> Well, plotted. It's not written down quite yet. <laughs> mm. what, I, what would I even... I, I'm not sure what I would even do for Extinct. <laughs> like... Okay. <laughs> I mean, with that one we could go very uh, dark and just go all vampire cats have gone extinct. But that would be very dark and depressing. <laughs> hmm. Oh. I think for Connect we said we would do a family tree. Because right now it's a bit confusing who's related to who. <laughs> that would be that would be something we'll do then. <laughs> Spark followed up by Crispy kind of sounds like some sort of mini arc. <laughs> like a spark sets something on fire and then the next moment you've got something crispy. <laughs> who knows? Hmm. Of a patch would be a uh, patch. They could patch, patch things up between Theo and his dad. That could be our chance of giving Theo a happy ending in this. <laughs> that that's very good. That's very good. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Yay! Yes, Theo gets a happy ending, and so does his dad, and they all come together in the end. And and yeah, <clears throat> very yeah. <laughs> Will they even make it back into their original timeline? <laughs> Probably not, but unless we fix the watch. I think that's dry enough. I'm just gonna hope it's dry enough and then draw in some birds that are flying. You know, in the far, far distance. Like that. <laughs> I feel like I could very quickly so just slightly overdo it with the birds. <laughs> well, let's get some on this side too. Oh yes. <laughs> could really add something to the painting. I like this. Well. Is it a painting though? <laughs> when it's ink. I don't know, where's the line between painting and drawing? <laughs> and can they be used for anything? Words are confusing, I think, <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, I think we can sign that. If a black scholar. Copyright. 
day 20. Oh, we're already like two thirds into <laughs> Inktober. Day 20. Sprout. Further word Sprout kind of makes me think of Madame Sprout from Harry Potter, the uh, herbology teacher. <laughs> and the house teacher of Hufflepuff. There we go. Our piece has been finished. It was very quick, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways. <laughs> the drawing too. Our little walnut sprouts, but it will one day be magnificent walnut trees. That the cats will then use to pay their debt to the raven <laughs> taxi. <laughs> Does anyone feel like Theo should get his own personal kind of raven? Hang on, where's the... There we go. I feel like Theo should definitely have... Uh, that could kind of be almost here, but I think it's some other cat. So these get paid with walnuts. <laughs> with these. I really like this. It's really nice and calm and pretty and cute. <laughs> Small plants are very cute. Uh, and we hardly bled through the paper. That's an achievement. <laughs> So the paper here is a bit damp now. I'll have to leave that out to dry before I put it back into the drawer. Yes, I like it very much too. Yay! I'm glad you do. <laughs> um, yep. <sighs> I'm very happy with it as well. I'm very happy with this one. Nice and calm. And we've got a cute little baby plant. And that's all you need in life, right? <laughs> well, probably not all you need, but like... I'm happy with this, and tomorrow's gonna be fuzzy. Gonna have a little fuzzy, fuzzy f creature. <laughs> Maybe something that the cats keep as their pets. Fuzzy, fuzzy little creatures. But a cute. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, <laughs> this was uh, probably one of the shorter streams because it wasn't very complicated to draw, but it was nice. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. <laughs> I mean, by now it's almost like most of the things are pretty straightforward, it's just when you've already had an idea going and you know what you want to do. <laughs> Shall we read again today? I enjoyed it too. That's great. I'm very happy. I really like how it came out. Yeah, same. It looks very calm. Nothing like the past couple of drawings, which were like full on. <laughs> Dark darkness, just just that <laughs> yesterday. They look like big trees already. <laughs> That's because uh, they I've drawn them so big. <laughs> but yeah, they are they are just sprouts. It's like zoomed in. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I do have to macro. <laughs> yeah, but I do have to agree, but it kind of looks like these are big hills, kind of. And then you've got huge trees. <laughs> yeah, I like the look of it, though. And then we've got the baby one. 
the walnut family. But anyway, um, let's raid. <laughs> let's find someone to raid. Mm. Oh, there's hiccups. I hope they'll stay away now. Right, let's let's uh, look who's on and streaming art. Streaming art. Oh. Let's see. Oh, someone's carving a cow skull. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. It's very interesting. Let's see, let's see, let's see. That's looking interesting. Someone's doing someone's doing watercolor. Shall we raid the one doing watercolor? Someone's doing watercolor. Ooh, yes. Okay, let's let's uh, okay. Hang on, what's her name? Shadow Sylvia. Okay, 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 okay. Uh do Let's go Raider, okay. Let's Raider and uh, thank you all for joining me today again. Um, hope you liked it and I will see you tomorrow, definitely. Um, and have fun. <laughs> Bye. Let's start the raid. See you. <laughs> um, has that worked? Ah, oh, an error? Oh, come on. Oh, it's not doing it. It's counting down? Is it? Because for me, it's just saying that an error occurred. Yes. Ah.
Did that work? Ha! I think it worked. I think that worked, yes. Chill watercolor Wednesday, so we're just chilling, working on some underwater painting today. Hang on. <laughs> 